Greetings, signs and moons. We're going to get into clarifying this energy. If you haven't checked out part one, please do so. A link for that will be in the description box below. Okay. Let me just tell you um, what I'm getting up. Um, picking up on somebody was in a commitment or they was committed to something that did not work out too well for them. OK, this person may have been in a court proceedings and that didn't work out too well. So this person got stuck in a rut. They got stuck in their emotions. They didn't know what to feel, what to think. But they also developed some sort of psychic gift. OK, or they developed um they learned how to balance their emotions or hold back from a particular person that they thought that they could trust. With the letter being here, there was some sort of um, document that was sent to this person or to you or somebody maybe trying to manifest a new contract somewhere else. This person may reach out to you via mail, email, whatever, right? Um, somebody will serve some bad news in regards to their foundation. That foundation could be a home or their livelihood. Okay. Somebody was a liar, liar, um, pants on fire. Now I feel like somebody was warned, whether if they were warned by you or a court, an actual court official to not do something, they did something anyway. OK, this could be like violation of a restraining order or something like that. Right. Um, I feel like somebody was was lying on someone about someone's finances. They may have been paid to do so. OK, we're well, living by example. Some of you, you may have had people watching you like official people watching you. OK, there may have been an investigation for somebody. All right. You may be picking up on this energy of a reward or uh, a letdown. OK, somebody you may be, um, you know, sensing that someone wants to reach out to you. OK, and you maybe want to let this person down easy because, again, Somebody was warned that somebody was going to do something or not to do something. Could be both. OK, somebody received some news and their emotions went all over the place. OK, I feel like with this rich gent in reverse, this is somebody that fakes the funk. OK, they spend or they live beyond their means. This is, you know, especially with expected money in reverse in the King of Wands. This is somebody that pays too much attention to the outside. They may have also been expecting to receive something here. For something that they participated in. Or someone that they participated in with. And uh uh they ain't get it. It's kind of like somebody betrayed you and then they got betrayed. Okay. Now that we, we, we you know, now that we're here. <laughs> um, where's my cards? All right. Let me shuffle these cards here. For some reason, I want to get this living by example. We ended off. We ended off the reading with this card, living by example. So I feel like you are somebody that's ethical, like people trust you. Okay. They possibly felt like whoever this is that was in secret competition with you, working with many other people, um, or they were doing something at the same time when you were going through a really difficult time, whether they knew these people or not. Um, they were watching you, too, and they were expecting you to receive some bad news or for your emotions to be all over the place because you didn't receive a commitment or an offer or a text message. For some of you, this person was acting like your person or acting like you to deliver some bad news to someone. Right. And so they were expecting you to be in this energy of disarray. 
This person is receiving bad luck because for some of you, some money, inheritance, something actually did go through. And it became a burden on whoever this is and they're receiving judgment for it. Okay. I feel like somebody was trying to block you from getting to a different level, a different chapter in your life, thinking that they would would benefit from it. But if they received something that didn't belong to them, it was short lived. It was short lived. They may have even been scammed by a third party. Something could have been taken from this person while they were traveling. Living by example, why is this here? It's kind of like somebody taking something from you or whoever this is, and then it get taken from them, and then they actually try to go have this person prosecuted. It's kind of like some something diabolical like that. Like you gonna go and try to have someone else brought to justice for something that you stole from someone else. Like, make it make sense. Somebody's dealing with an opportunist. Or, or this is you. Living by example. Why is this here? <laughs> and it comes out. Somebody's hallucinating. Mushrooms could be significant. Oh, okay. So somebody may be like a shaman. Okay. Um... Or somebody may have been overindulging in something that was causing them to hallucinate. Okay. Or they were, they were, it's, it's, it's like, um, again, in the first reading, I talked about this King of Cups intuiting something. But then they're thinking, oh, I'm just tripping. I'm tripping. That's not, you know. But they weren't tripping. They weren't tripping. Okay, so somebody's going through this transformation. I don't know. For, for some, for somebody, this is a shaman with the mushrooms and the perseverance here. It's like somebody sees things from a different perspective, or you see things that others don't see. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are using any type of substance, but for somebody, it could be living by example. Why is this here? Yeah, for some of you, you may have been around people that you party with and, you know, there may have been, um, you know, oh, here go the card. There may have been, how do I say this? There may have been partying, which is but alcohol, substance or whatever. And there could have been like some sort of altercation. I do feel like somebody did hallucinate. Maybe they got, they overindulged in something because it, look, as I look, I see the clouds and the rainbow, but it's like for somebody, somebody did something and it cleared their vision. And it's only going to be for maybe a couple of people, maybe even when you, Oh, somebody went into a shamanic trance OK. And and they got clarity. I don't know if it came from the divine, your ancestors, whatever it is you believe in. But that is confirmation for some powerlessness. So you took your power back and it's overwhelmed this person because it's kind of, it's, something can't stick to you. Something that they did, something that they said, people that they worked with. Is you know it is not going to happen if you're coming up with the justice and the queen of coins and the star. <laughs> like, I mean, somebody could be a Taurus or this could be a divine feminine. You don't necessarily have to be a Taurus or a Libra, but that's definitely you know we got justice here. I mean, you know you could be Taurus, Libra. Um, yeah. Uh, king of, well, king, why was I say king of coins? You can also be a Virgo cap. You can be any sign, but this particular combination, just look at that. The justice, the queen of coins and the star, that's divine feminine energy. The star seed, um, that's somebody that's high ranking physically. Okay. 
Uh, whether if it's a high uh, um, paying position, okay, um, and or you have like something here, some sort of gift that's beneficial for the world. And so for you to... For you to maintain in this energy, you have to have someone, you have to be someone, I said have, <laughs> could be. Um, you have to stay in this energy of ethical, moral, virtuous, okay? I'm not saying you got to be a prude, but you can't do, you know, a lot of people say, I don't drink, I don't do, okay, that's fine. But this is not what I'm, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about that because say, for instance, even if you were a queen of coins or you worked for, um, you know, if you are an official person, that's not going to diminish your character unless you let it get control, let, let it make you out of control. Um, those type of things are not illegal, right? Is what I'm saying. Somebody was expecting to do something unethical to an ethical person and it just won't stick. And now they feel powerless. What is this? We have fate at play. Fate definitely at play with the will of fortune there on the fence, right? Caution. Watch your conduct, action, confident. Mm -hmm. Now, if that ain't, and I say ain't, <laughs> the queen of coins energy, they all about conduct. Okay. This is, this is like, um, I, I know I keep saying that, but I just want you to feel me. This is like, you live by example. Like, if you say that you are a certain way, you got so many people watching, you know. They know. That you are who you say you are. But for someone else, they're, they're not. And for some of you, you were up against somebody that may have also um, has, you know, I'm hearing high expectations. People have high expectations for this person, maybe because of their background, who they were married to, who they are associated with. People just said, okay. Maybe this person may be attractive. So people say, okay, well, yeah, who wouldn't be jealous of you? But this is not the queen of coins energy. Not in the upright. Um, so, yeah, somebody's seeing through some sort of illusion. And definitely the queen of coins is uh, compassionate. They're very nurturing. Again, uh, in the tarot community, a lot of people believe that the queen of coins is the ideal wife, but it could be a husband as well. OK, the queen of coins is someone that is nurturing. They're very big hearted. This is somebody that doesn't think that they're better than you. If they're good with money, you can trust them. OK, so you live by example. So whatever this person was expecting, they didn't get that. Um or they're not going to get it. I heard, don't you worry. <laughs> don't you worry. Like in a grandma voice. Um, not, who, why is the house here? And they keep, all these cards keep coming out. <laughs> when they land like this on top of each other, it's like, it's like it's right there. It's like the ancestors be like this right here. <laughs> This is associated with this. So let's see. This is on top of the Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody got kicked out of a home. Somebody didn't get a wish fulfillment. There was some sort of breakup in the marriage. Somebody could have just left home. Could have been with the Knight of Wands here. It could be somebody's child that left home. They might not necessarily got kicked out. Okay. This person may... Um, they're regretting here. Somebody may have paid someone to do something. They may have paid your child or a younger person to do something. And then are, yeah. Somebody thought that they was going to get a month, get some money. 
for doing something to a high priestess or a king of wands or a high priest or something. I don't know. But we definitely got uh, comfort. We got opening through the power relationship. The relationships. Look closely at the dynamics of your relationship. So that's on top of the house card. Mm -hmm. So much of foundation, your stability. Somebody doesn't feel grounded. They don't They don't feel at home. They don't feel like this is home. But somebody definitely got kicked out. Um, they got... <laughs> Somebody's not in their comfort zone. For some of you, this could be a, a child. Like you may not have kicked this person out. You may have. But they were in this energy of regretting not being able to control their emotions or possibly even their liquor. If you have any issues with substance, make sure to seek out the proper authorities for your ailments. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. This Knight of Wands, no matter what sign they are, uh, no matter if they are a young adult or an older adult, they didn't feel loved. Okay? They didn't feel loved, and this is the reason why they act the way they act. Okay? Somebody felt abandoned. And so this person, I feel like I, I just keep getting like somebody wanted to get revenge on somebody. And this could be like a father and a son or a father figure or somebody's mentor um, saying, OK, well, you do this and I'll give you some money. So it's kind of like if this is your child or someone you raised as a child, um, I feel like they're starting to get it. This could be somebody in their 20s. This is, this is like somebody that's just getting their footing. They may have started working for someone and they didn't get their fair share. You could be picking up on this person, uh, person's energy, but this could also be a king of wands that's keeping a secret about some money. And I feel like somebody knows that this Knight of Wands did something and they regret it. And it's like this Knight of Wands is about to get their karma for whatever they did in this family situation because they wanted some sort of fame, recognition. It's like this person feels unloved and I'm not necessarily saying that you made this person feel this way. I feel like this person just feels that way because they need to heal. Now, there could have been somebody that went through a divorce and maybe they just don't feel loved at the moment, you know, or something. But I feel like for somebody, though, I'm picking up the energy of just this person is in regret because a family dynamic, I mean... A part of me wants to say that this person wanted to possibly help you, but they kept running into roadblocks because how they were trying to get money was in an unethical way. So they may have took it out on you. It's like somebody feels like, I don't know, maybe this person feels like they had to be the man of the house. And for somebody, this issue may just be with authority or even the creator. Like, and that, that, that's why this is giving me like a young adult here. Um, they're very passionate and they're, they're focused on money, but this person doesn't want to work hard. Like they don't want to go through that period where they have to work hard. And they choose to do things that get them in positions where they're being judged. It's kind of like they, they're rebellious against authority for whatever reason, and they keep running into situations where people is taking authority over them. Very confrontational with all this red. 
Somebody may be having a health issue. Somebody, if that's the case, I feel like somebody's going to beat something. Like they're going to they're going to heal from something. <sighs> Knight of Wands. Oh, this came out here. Comfort. We got ego in the way. Caution. Don't let fear of rejection or looking foolish stop you. Center. Somebody needs to go to their happy place. And I know that sounds like either they need to go to their happy place. Yeah, somebody needs to go to their happy place because they let they let the stresses of the outside world um, create more negative experiences for them. Look at that. Overcome. To make someone incapacitated or helpless or to break down someone's normal self-control, to struggle successful, successfully against a difficult or disadvantage, to defeat someone or something, especially in a conflict or competition, to win or be successful, especially in spite of obstacles. Oh, wow. That's a rebirth there for somebody. I want to say that a chapter of deceit is closed for someone, but I don't want to give you this false impression that you're not going to run up into any obstacles. What I can say is you know better or whoever this is, they know better because you may have attracted this person because you had low self-worth. And I'm not saying that to be mean, but this is someone, again, I'm going back to the scenario where the stomach, okay? And maybe you gain weight. Maybe you lost weight. Maybe you just got older and your body changed. You could have had a health scare, okay? And so you had to... For some of you, you're just giving your body to the wrong people. And that's not me being judgmental. It is me saying this is the issue. And I want to stress that to you because I want you to know where the problem was, even if it was in the past, so you don't run into it again. And if you do run into it again, 222 on the clock, that's all about paying attention to your relationship. Look, you'll know. You'll know it. You'll know the red flags. If somebody makes you feel less than, acknowledge why you feel that way. If you truly feel that way about yourself, do what you have to do to put yourself in this energy of joy and happiness. If you know or you feel confident about yourself, okay, and this person makes you feel down, and that'll block off your manifestation. That'll throw you off balance, throw off your pH balance. We don't, we don't need no pH balance off around each year. So you move away. Red flags. You, you know. We ain't, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that 2024. Look at that. I look down and say uh, S A C R I F I C E. Everything will be beautiful. Caution. Don't lose yourself in love. Go within. Pray. Meditate. Do whatever you got to do. But don't sacrifice your morals, ethics. Don't settle. Look, retreat. <laughs> retreat. That's it. Dishonesty. Why is this here? Mm -hmm. Take the lead. <laughs> and this is on top of dishonesty, right? I'm so glad this is in the past for some of you, but um, you may be gaining clarity over the past. But what I'm getting is this person is trying to come back, baby. <laughs> and if they ain't trying to come back to you, they coming back to someone that was associated with you. For some of you, this could be your child that this is happening to, to uh, having something to do with, with take the leap and step by step. Somebody trying to do better, but they can't help themselves. <laughs> With that on top of dishonesty, that is just not a good card, no matter if it's up or down. Okay. It's kind of like a half truth. <laughs> or 
Somebody tells half truths. If you don't believe them, they get very argumentative. It's like somebody trying to convince somebody and hoping that you fall for it. And if you don't fall for it, they're going to go right back in to doing something that is unethical, immoral, immoral, however you say it. And you may be walking away from this person. Oh, you did. Somebody took a chance. They took a chance with something. And they had to walk away from it or they were walked away from. Ooh, this clarity for somebody, child. Um, two of coins, why is this here? Ooh, ooh, come on now. So we talking about a commitment. Ooh, diversion. Somebody got mandated by the court. So this person was celebrating. They thought they 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 got something. Look at that. And loyalty and reverse. Ooh, giving me that little that uh saying thick as thick. Thick as thieves. Ooh, we, and I'm getting that that saying that came in one of my last readings. Is somebody to do that to their own family member? Like be deceptive to their own family, especially if this is like a mother father situation or a sibling situation. What makes you think that they won't do it to a friend? Or if this person felt like, you know, because some people feel like that's my friend. That's my friend. That's my friend. They can't do any wrong. Especially this just this newer generation, 20s and, you know, whatever. They got something. They got a chip on their shoulder against their parents. They start laying on them friends. And them friends do them worse than their parents did. And I hope that's not triggering for someone. But for somebody, that's the situation. Because you're going to learn. You're going to learn. Like it has to like some people feel like the world is against them, but it'd be their own energy coming back in different ways. You know, um, sad news. Dang, these cars are flying. Harps. We got spiritual center and honor oneself. This was this was not honorable here. We got a situation in which there is uh, there is agreement, a pleasant effect produced by an arrangement of things, parts, or colors, child. Ooh, I'm trying to tell you. Um, outcome, yes, good fortune. That would be good fortune in the upright, right? Caution, don't repeat the same mistakes. Action, exertion. So on the fence like that, somebody was juggling, coming in, or they may be juggling now to right the wrongs of the past. That would be somebody that keep running into obstacles because all they're doing is juggling. They hemming and hawing because... They don't want to look like they were wrong or they were a part of something. And so this person is taking a lot. It's like they, their ego is being balanced here because it was before it was all oh, they jealous or oh, they wanted. They, they, and now it's like whatever you intuit, whatever you told this person was definitely truth. It was a warning. We got warning here. Where's a warning card here? With the court official, that's a warning. And then we got red flags, that's a warning. So this person was being warned, but their ego, their ego, they can't do nothing wrong. Whoever they invest in can't do nothing wrong. So um, I don't see the tower, but I ain't pulled no more tarot either. Maybe this is the tower here with the despair. Is that what you think? This person is about this is not this this is move get out the way energy. That's what it is. Yeah, look at it. This person was so confident. They were full of themselves. 29, 29 on the clock. This is somebody twin. <laughs> hey, it's not. Hey. It's not. If you okay. This might be longer than what I wanted. But listen, y'all. 
a lot of times what I notice in this journey, whether if you end up with a soulmate, you end up by yourself, you end up with your twin. The whole part of it is yin and yang, right? It's light and it's dark, but it's becoming whole. It's becoming whole so you can meet the person. That's why some people tap out. they like, mm-mm, it's too much, right? But it's balancing the light and the dark. You can't be too giving and you can't be too in, too in the dark. You got to know when to jump into the queen of swords. You got to know when to jump into the queen of cups. You have to know when to jump in the queen of wands. You know, you got to be most multifaceted. Is that what it is? You have to know. You, ha you, you have to be cognizant of your energy. On point. You got to be on point. But with somebody rich gent in reverse, that's somebody that's egotistical for no damn reason, though. Excuse me, damn word. But for no reason. For no reason. Because all they're doing is attracting shallow people that want to um, mirror back to them what they need to change. If they're all about money, they're going to attract people that is all about money. And eventually they get old. It becomes outdated. You got a new cycle of people, right? Rich gent is possibly the king of wands. You got, you got the up and comings with the knight of wands. You know, back in my day, I sound like my grandma. Back in my day, it was the thing to have somebody older. These, these, these younger girls don't want no older man. And if they do, it's only for one reason. And it ain't to get in the bedroom. Let me tell you that. Um, victim, <laughs> accumulation, destiny in reverse. So somebody didn't make the right choice at the right time. And now they're in regret. Difficulties in reverse. This is giving me, I, I've fallen and I can't get up. Y'all remember that commercial? I mean, typically I would say difficulties in reverse would mean that the hardship is over. But since we over here in this area... Oh, no, it's just beginning. And because this person is in this energy of not speaking the truth, because they still want to operate from their ego. They, it's like, it's like, how much more can you take, sir, ma'am? Rich gent in reverse. This could be happening to a female as well. I heard a couple. Sacred spay. Hey, it's time for you to go with them. You got to, I wanted to speak big lad. You got the, it's name, it's name. Look, I don't even know what I just said. But whatever I just said, it sounded like move, get out the way quickly. And do it where you don't let these people that you in cahoots with, or this person is in cahoots with, know where they're going. Got to think. I don't know why I heard Aretha Frank. R E S P C P E C T. Find out what it means to me. Ten of Cups, why is this here? 3322 on the clock. Compassion, Star Card. Oh, why did I? I put that here, but I think this was here. Well, um. Star card. Oh, oh, oh. That, uh, that, that go on top of the... <laughs> I'm all discombobulated myself. This harmony card was clarifying the will of fortune. If I said something else, I meant the will of fortune. And it, that just definitely explains it, right? Because we got good fortune. Um, somebody's receiving good fortune in this situation because they are ethical. They, you can trust them when they're not around. They can, you can trust them in their, when they, how they're manifested. And this is something that's been proven because we got justice here. Like your heart has been weighed. So somebody is um, at the bottom and somebody's at the top. Now, if you are at the top, you are definitely in this energy of sacred space. You will not defile my temple. You will not come into my home. And that's just that on that. Or apartment. Take it how it resonates. Some of you, you may be going to a sacred space. Um, or at least something that makes you feel balanced. 
Okay, he could be meeting somebody there too. You got you you paying attention, like. But um, make sure to check out part one. Knight of Wands rises here. Mm, treat yourself. Ooh. So for some of you, you get married. Some of you guys stop looking down on yourself. Yeah, stop stop looking in the past. Yeah, virtue. Yeah, somebody needs to believe in miracles and prayer. Maybe you do. Maybe you got restored faith because we got miracles, celebration, and loyalty. So somebody is meeting their higher self or what people like to say. Um, their what is they what they say? The better their their better half. Somebody's meeting their better half. Okay, with the rest and future self, it wanted to come out like this. So I believe that's for a reason. I'm supposed to interpret it two different ways. So I feel like because somebody was self-loathing um, with the Five of Cups energy being here, they had to persevere or they're learning how to person persevere. Okay, somebody's grieving a loss. Um and getting the victory, you know, you're meeting someone that is your vibration, whether if you are low vibration or not. Somebody's dealing with somebody that's very animated. They like to put a lot on a little. Um, this person is about to embark some sort of change. It's like somebody is going to get a glimpse of what things could be like. But since we have the future self and the unexpected money here, somebody made a deal and whatever they made a deal about, they're not going to get. Um, this person is trying to like fake it to make this person is trying to act like if you're like a reader or you share their reading. Somebody's trying to act like, oh, that's not me. <laughs> You know, but it's like they're being warned. Yes, you, sir, ma'am. Um, somebody's wishing that they partnered with you or they didn't do something to you for money because you're somebody that uses your intuition. Um, okay, one for the star card. Grief. Wow. Come on. Got grief here. Grief there. Anger, somebody's playing victim. I mean, you know, they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. It goes back to that scenario I was saying where somebody stole something or helped someone steal something that belonged to somebody else. And then they want justice for somebody doing something to them. And people be like, I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that. In some cases, you may not have deserved it. But what did you do? In the past, nobody, nobody deserves to get cheated on, stole from, set up, robbed, the hands put on them, false allegations put on them. And this is what happened to someone in this situation. They made dirty deals. They thought they gained a victory here and whatever they gained but they thought they again they're not getting. It's an illusion. Somebody thought that they was going to get something is what I want you to realize. They thought that they were going to get ahead, get some sort of status, and they're not. Court. Why is this here? So set up, distraction, be present. You got to face your fears. So somebody has their guards up because they are, they did something with substances, whether they were street pharmacists or something like that, or somebody uses things to escape. They have escapism issues. For some of you, you may have overcome something, some sort of stronghold. In the past, or as this is this person, they may be like, oh, this was a toxic marriage, or this was a toxic commitment. They were committed to something here that brought them down, slowed them down, made them, um, 
you know, lower their, what is their inhibitions where they can't make good decisions. And we got, you got knocked the F out. Okay. So if somebody partnered with someone to do something against you, or they partnered with someone that they felt was better than you, they humble now because you, this is my queen of coins. <laughs> this is my queen of coins card. Different perspective for the queen of coins, right? This is this, this is I'm gonna pay you back by getting my mind right, getting my house right, getting my body tight if I want it, looking good, smelling good, and getting that sh money, honey. That's 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 yeah. Of course. Hmm. These is both aspects of divine feminine. Right. Well, let you, let your faith be bigger than your fears. Untapped potential. <laughs> this person, look, the, the lesson you were supposed to get with this person, 4056, was don't invest in potential. Because this queen of coins didn't become the queen of coins by investing in potential. They're not going to become. And when you encountered this person, they was like, I want the for sure thing. I don't want potential. I don't care. I mean, this person may have had a, a, a they they may have loved you, but the show didn't make them make that decision. OK, that love wasn't enough for this person. Mm -mm, they said, I do lust and quaint. Give me lust and quaint. This person ain't all of that. They started thinking about every little scar, mark. Okay. Everything that was wrong with you to convince themselves that they made the right choice. And they definitely got humbled in this situation. Huh? What's his expectation here? Somebody watching your money. And they keep going to the master melissa. Uh, melissa. Ooh. Master manipulator. Somebody that got a costume on. This is what they are. This is what they're dealing with. <laughs> no bad vibes. So this person is in there like, hum -de -la -la. is they coming? Is they coming? Is they coming? Because in the beginning of part one, I talked about somebody trying to manifest someone. They hoping and praying, baby. They wishing on the star to follow where you are. And they still in this energy. I mean, if they praying, the prayers ain't passing the ceiling, child. Because they want some money. Sad news in reverse. This person, you ain't reached out. If you didn't, you, some of you, you moved. <laughs> this person has been following you. Well, I wanted to say following you. I don't know if they're following you on social media um, or if they've been coming to your house. That's what I wanted to say. You do a block. Some of you, they may know a family member of yours or theirs. Well, God blesses the child who has his own. It's like they didn't think you could do it by yourself. They had a whole team of people sending you negative energy, child. Or they knew that you was going through a hard time and they didn't show you no mercy. It's not like you needed it. It was just to upgrade you. Now somebody's dealing with the Queen of Swords in the reverse. That's my it's Friday the 13th. And guess who's playing Jason? Yes. Some of this, that, 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 uh, queen of swords. I mean, some of you, you may have revealed the truth about, uh, somebody in your family. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Or in their family, you ripped the mask off, but this is my, this, in this, in this, um, perspective, this, in this perspective, this is a karmic energy. Okay. So this person was expecting something. They just, it's nothing but cats and dogs flying and all type of altercations. Okay, let me get one more card and let me go. I got to do something for my child. Um, Rich Jen in reverse. Unexpected income. Or unexpected money. We got contingent. Don't try to justify a contingent. No, that's not contingent. That's not my contingent card. It's contradiction. Don't try to justify an irrational decision. Stop making excuses. Rich Jen in reverse. Mm -hmm. Ooh, somebody pregnant. Are they got? Yeah, somebody pregnant. 
that I need to stress or somebody wants to get someone pregnant. Uh, this is a male that thought that somebody was pregnant. They're picking up that this person may not be pregnant. Some Somebody could have had a miscarriage. My condolences or somebody didn't go through with it. This could have been a reader that shared it. Or this could be a reader or you could be a reader. I, got, I do declare there's something in the air. I'm burning the candles at both ends. Bitter betrayal, skeleton keys, houses to haunt, end of the line, and be you, Zabob Driver. So, yeah, something that was said about a child was absolutely correct. Because um, somebody was in this energy of trying just to block uh, someone's manifestation. Um, you know, this is my... Empress, you know, car in reverse. This is somebody that will use someone else's identity. They have imposter syndrome or they, 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 they wear a mask. This is somebody that will pretend like they are you, pretend like they are this person. Just chaotic. And, and that's my tower card. So, yeah, the tower is coming down Whoever uh, whoever is in this um, distorted energy. Yeah, because we got to look at that. Realizing who or what you are, seeing things from a fresh perspective, knowledge of other words. You know something that somebody thought was a secret. Okay. Deuces.